Hey everybody, it's Green Eagle Zero One here, and today I will be doing a ROM review on Liquid Gingerbread version 3.0. Okay, so um, today I'm gonna start the review actually with uh, the phone off, and I will say yes, this is a Motorola Droid. Okay, there you go, and um, so it's off. So I'm gonna boot it up so that you can see the uh, boot up screen. And uh, real fast, what's booting up? Um, Liquid Gingerbread is, oh my gosh, it is amazing. It is so fast. It's probably faster than Peter Alfonso's ROMs. Faster than Simply Studying by Sherving Number One. Faster than any of those. It's just like what like the name implies: smooth, liquid smooth. Okay, so there you go. You got the um, the boot screen. See liquid and everything, and then it's got that nice boot up screen. You could change that in the settings, so also very customizable the ROM. So while it gets the SD card ready and everything, real fast. Um, this is uh by Liquid Smooth ROMs, okay. And this is version 3.0, so it's running Android 2.3.7, and um, version 3.1 and 3.2. I uh, actually have like an ice cream sandwich theme, but I didn't really want to get that because I've already been having an ice cream sandwich theme, you know, Android Four Pro for quite a while. So I wanted to take a break from that. And now I switch from Simply Study, and this thing is just snappy, responsive, and fast. It comes with a launcher, Launcher Pro, so that maybe is the reason for its smoothness, also. And you can also customize that too. And also, it has a lot of lock screens. So, um, right now I have the honey lock screen and I'll show you that later. Okay, so I think it is ready. Okay, so that's the honey, I have the honeycomb, um, background. Lock screen is, um, honey, as you can see, it's like from the one from the tablet, so I'm going to keep it turning off. Anyway, so, um, you press it and it forms the light. And then when you take it out, unlocks. Anyway, it's also real fast, as you can see. You can also do custom care and stuff. And then um, you can also change the font. You see, that's not the stock font. So I change it to Hero the font. Anyway, so as you can see, it's really smooth. Let's see right now. Yeah, I just turned on. You see? Slow. Oh, this is the um, the rotation. It's uh, the scale rotation. You can see it's really smooth, fast, and slow. Really smooth and snappy. <clears throat> snappy <laughs> and then um not sorry for my pronunciation and then also uh, you could like pinch out to zoom those are all launcher pro features and as you can see it's really fast press that got all your apps really sm fast and then also, of course those are all the launcher pro icons that you could change and also I got the settings so that when I change it it shows you which screen you're on and then if you on the notification bar, very nice look to it. You got your status bar power widget. You can manage that so you can change that stuff on the settings. Okay. You got app manager. Um you also have oh right there. So let's open that up. And pretty much used to be these settings used to be integrated with the regular settings, now it's a separate application. And pretty much you can manage your applications there. Behavior and you know, haptic feedback and all that stuff. General stuff. Um you can also the goodies. I, I like I like to say. Because here you can also um use app manager and install anything you want pretty much. Um, you can also use font installer, and that's what I used to change my font. So uh, let's press continue. And pretty much here, I downloaded all the previews, and you see it, all these different fonts. So I, I don't know why it's kind of laggy, but it's a lot of fonts. Um, I chose, where is it? There we go. I chose Hero. There we go, Hero, right there. So I make it made. I I, I personally think that that font makes your phone look elegant. So um, let's go back and then it has theme chooser. You can also change your boot up screen. And got all those boot up screens and the Droid does and all that stuff. I just have the stock liquid one and then you can also do uh, device 
change stuff there, scripts, and you can switch, you know, which is like change the system apps. Um, also, you got uh, the interface where you can, you know, change the notification colors and whatnot. Let's go there. Manage categories and everything. And all that stuff, which is like stuff you find inside in Jamon 7. Okay, and this is the fun part the lock screens. Um, if you go here, where there, styles, there, um, you go to lock style, you got all of these. I don't know if you can see it because the fonts are really skinny, but you got slider, which is a stock slider, rotary, which is like the one from Eclair, for, um, Android Eclair. You got the sense, which I'll show you right now. Is this? Which is kind of like Rotary, but a little bit different. You also have the, the ring, which is I used to use this one, just like that. Anywhere opens, unlocks, kind of nice. And there's the circle, which is like kind of like honeycomb. You pull the lock right here and out, and it unlocks. You also have the honey, which is what I like. It's what I use because it's very, it looks nice and elegant, as you can see with that font and everything. So that's just like the honeycomb. And then, slash, um, ice cream sandwich has kind of like that. And then Halo, which is like, it's, it's from HTC Sense. But for some reason, it's like, it's, it doesn't, it's kind of weird. It like, Double unlock sound, and also if you press anywhere on the screen, it goes there. And it's kind of weird. So I just use honey. Um, yeah, <laughs> and then that sound kind of weird. And then, um, cause do the widgets for lock screen and all that. And then we got all the other sound performance, overclocking, all that good stuff. So there you have it. Let's go to the browser real fast. Um, let's just type in. The there. Sorry for the font. It's kind of hard to see that on the camera. As you can see, it's really fast. Bam. Um. Also, let's go liquid smooth ROMs. Liquid ROM. Bam. Super fast. Also, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. That's so that's partially the reason why it's so fast. As you can see, the browser is pretty darn nice. Also, um, since this is kind of based on CM7, I believe, um, it also it has a theme chooser, so you got all the themes and stuff. So as you can see, it's loading up pretty fast. Um, if you want to see how smooth it is, pinch to zoom. Let's just um, stop that, and then it's it's better than before. And since the Droid One, it's much better than before. There. I don't know, it's a little bit glitchier now. I think it should be better. Anyways, let's go home real fast. Um, as you can see, instant, very nice. And the probably last thing I want to show you, oh, real fast, show you that it's 2.3.7. It's right there. 2.3.7. And also, uh, if you want to see the wallpapers, it's I don't know, it's kind of weird. The wallpapers that like, come with it, it's like black that you can't really choose that. And then this, which is like this long strip thing, I don't know. Anyways, I just use the honeycomb pop wallpaper that I have. And um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, as you can see, it's really snappy. Oh, oops. There you go. Really snappy. Go slow, slow. Also responsive, very responsive. So. I recommend it 100% if your droid was um, slow before, change to this ROM, Link is Smooth ROM version 3.0 or 3.1 or 3.2, those are just thing with ice cream sandwich, but other than that, this is like super fast. I got it from ROM Manager, uh, it's taking too much time to load. I got it from Raw Manager. Oh, there's a little bit of lag there. But um, yeah, later on I might do post another video on how to... Um, Flash a custom ROM, which is to get a custom ROM, and maybe how to root and whatnot. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please rate and uh, subscribe, comment, rate, and subscribe, and yeah.